Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Lizbeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty, some reviews, some vlogs, just everything I love. And today I have a winter jackets must have video. This was actually a request from a follower on IG. So if you're not following me on IG, be sure to follow me. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as well. She asked me if I would share my winter jackets, my must haves, what I have and decided to make a video for it. So I hope you guys like this video. All of these jackets have definitely been accumulated through the years. A lot of them are vintage, secondhand. Some are from the men's department. Some are really affordable, but I really think these are staples, classics, just jackets that have longevity that are timeless. So let's get into this video. The first style that I recommend are tailored coats. This is a classic and essential, just something that is going to carry you through the years. Such a versatile piece as well. It has this really masculine touch. This is actually thrifted from the men's department. It's very oversized, very Balenciaga right now. I definitely think I'm gonna get this tailored real soon, but I do love to go up a size in my coats because I like to layer sweatshirts, jackets, blazers underneath. But this is a very timeless style. Another type of uh, coat like this would be a pea coat or even a plaid coat like this would be super cute. This one is actually from Nasty Gal. It's a faux wool, which is nice because wool makes me super itchy, so I can't wear a lot of wools, unfortunately. But this one is a really cute one, so I think a checked one is really classic and timeless, and you could rock this with a fun vintage tee, a colorful knit sweater, or just a classic knit sweater. But a long coat is definitely a must-have. You can rock them with trousers and jeans, something dressy. I love rocking them with sweat sets just to elevate a really casual, comfy look. The next jacket I have or coat that I have for you guys is a trench coat. Another classic. I'm telling you, classic coats will last you a while. This one is actually thrifted as well. Not thrifted, I got it off Depop. It's secondhand. I lucked out, this is actually a petite style trench, so it actually fits perfectly. Sometimes these are a little bit too oversized. I have a really great one right here from Nasty Gal, but I wouldn't categorize it as a winter coat, a winter jacket, because it's very light but you could definitely make it work because this one is super, super oversized. You could rock really chunky knit sweaters underneath and layer up really nicely, but trench coats come in all price points, but I really love a vintage secondhand one because the construction of it and the fabric is just so nice. I love this green color, and this one has a really great wool lining, so it's perfect for the colder months, colder days, and I can remove it and still rock it in spring or fall when it's not too warm. I love it, and this is a fun green olive color. Normally they're in khaki or tan. They come in a variety of prints, fabrics as well. The next style of jacket, the puffer. This is a very sporty style jacket. It's a great winter jacket. It's definitely something that is reminiscent when you're going on a ski trip, going skiing, snowboarding, but I love it as just a cool, fun, just like edgy piece. It's so cozy, it's like a duvet on you. And I have a couple of them. The only thing I love about puffers is they come in all price points. So this one is from Aritzia. It's the Super Puff Shorty. I am petite as well, so I wanted something that's a bit cropped, but I went with this kind of like shiny black because I thought it would look really great with faux leather pants, just like this like leather on leather look, but way cozy. It has this detachable hood, which is great because when it rains, you're gonna be covered, and when it's cold, so I love that, but this one is a bit pricey. Again, you guys can pick some up from Uniqlo, from Gap, Old Navy. I have one from Cotton On that I love that is a tan. I have one from Urban that I love that's a green that I got a few years ago. But if you want to invest in something that's something that'll last, I love this Aritzia one. Again, it was kind of pricey, but I really do love it. 
North Face is another classic. This is the Nepsi style. It's a take on their vintage, a remake of the vintage cut and style that came out in the 90s. And I really like it. This is more sporty and more streetwear in my opinion. My boyfriend has the same one and for men and it's fun to like rock together. It's kind of a cute little like partner thing to style. But this is really sporty and edgy and streetwear and great with leggings on the go, great with some oversized jeans, just fun and there's so many styles of a puffer. This one is super fun. This was actually from Revolve. It was gifted. It's cropped and has this like cool texture on it. It's blue, which is fun. I picked this one out because it reminded me of the cropped Prada one that's popular. Although that Prada price point is not something I want to spend right now, but it's so chic. So this is an alternative. And I actually found some off Amazon as well that definitely are reminiscent to this Prada vibe because this one is pretty pricey too. But I just love that they come in different price points, different styles, different colors, different textures. Definitely a must, super cozy, super comfortable. And then this one I absolutely love. It definitely falls under like the duvet style jacket. This one is Vintage by Bill Blast that I got off Depop. I absolutely love this one. I don't gravitate towards it too often because I live in Southern California, but it is a fun statement. It's great if I'm ever traveling in colder, colder climates and it's a must for me. So as you can see, long, short, cropped, textured, black, whatever your color is, love, love, love. The next style jacket I have for you guys is the shearling and there are a couple different versions that fall under shearling in my opinion. The classic will be the shearling kind of like aviator style. This one was my brother's. My dad bought it for him and I couldn't let him donate it. It's just so good. Such a classic and I love it so much. So get creative with how you create your little collection if you want a collection of jackets, but this is so good. A classic timeless style of the Sherling Aviator collection um, that I have. This is another fun one that I love. It's actually from Nasty Gal, but it's a vintage style. Wanted to share this as more inspo for you guys, but you can always just crop it as long as there's no zipper. I really wanted to crop this one, but it's gonna take too much work because it has a zipper, but another great style classic. Works with so many cute things. I actually paired this with cargo pants and a tank. I've worn my brother's jacket with jeans and a sweater and my cute Prada loafers. Just super fun. But one jacket you guys are the most familiar with that is under the Sherling category are teddy bear coats. Obsessed. I fell in love with them a few years ago with the IMG one that was really popular and it's truly one of the most coziest warm coats ever jackets that you could have. This is a long line robe style from Boohoo. I loved it so much. I got it in black as well and it was quite affordable. I went with a size eight. Oh, and my jackets, I'm normally a medium because I like to layer. I'm petite 5'1", normally a small in shirts, but I got a medium in jackets because I love to layer them so much. But I don't know why I went with the eight with this, but it's super oversized, super comfortable, super cozy. And I love that when it is raining, it's thick enough that the rain and the wet isn't gonna go through. Like I'm sure in super cold snowy weathers it might, but I'm very impressed and surprised that when it's raining or drizzling, I'm not wet. It's quite interesting, but I absolutely love, love, love these. I highly recommend. But my original IMG one was tan. I love this white cream one. I love the black one. It goes with so much. Oh, I forgot to show you this other one. This one was actually insanely affordable. It's from H&M, but I was so impressed with the shearling, like faux fur they use for this jacket. I've had it for about five years and H&M was having like an insane sale. Always check the sale racks as well because there's some gems in there sometimes and sometimes it's good to buy these jackets at the end of winter because you'll definitely have it for the next season and a lot of these jackets I have scored on sale as you saw a lot of them are thrifted, secondhand, pulled from my family's closet. But yeah, this one was really great. It was like 30 bucks. Originally, I think like 120. This is actually an acne knockoff. This jacket was really popular a few years ago. Acne had it, really great quality. 
I got a Forever 21 one, wore it all the time, not the best quality, and I got its wear out of it, and then ended up replacing it with this one, and it's such nice quality, like I'm so impressed with it. So I love this black one. And then another jacket that falls under the Sherling category, in my opinion, is this Penny Lane-esque jacket. It's one of my favorites, it fits absolutely perfectly it's vintage it's from melrose vintage it's one of my favorite vintage shops in my hometown of whittier and it literally fits like a glove this style is so fun i've always wanted a longer one like a long line version um sax pots did them a couple years ago in beautiful pastel colors but i found this one i'm petite it fits perfectly and there's so many great versions of it but i love it so so much and again be sure to subscribe to see how i style these i'm gonna do a whole video styling them another jacket i think is so fun to have in your wardrobe are faux fur coats this one was an insane score from this shoe store called Prime Shoes in San Isidro. If you're headed to Tijuana or you're in San Diego, pop by here because they have insane shoes, really great affordable shoes, and then an insane designer section with shoes that are 50% off or more. I got some Saint Laurent sneakers and Miu Miu boots that I love. And then saw this jacket there by Aparis, which I've heard about. And this jacket retails for like three or four hundred dollars, and I scored it for fifty bucks. I'm like, I'm pumped, but it's so good. Both her jackets are very bold though, like a bold statement. So they might not be for everybody, but they are so cozy and warm and just like a cozy like teddy bear on you. And I think they're a must. I have a really beautiful big pink one like the same type of fur oversized pink one that i love it's like a peacoat style but i just love this one so much and i definitely think you're gonna get your wear out of it it looks so great dressy it looks so great casual you're gonna love it if you want to go bold definitely get a faux fur one and then last but not least in my collection is faux leather and they are surprisingly cozy and I would recommend like a moto style jacket. This is definitely trending right now uh, in Horn 2022, but it's a timeless piece. Like all of my jackets, you guys, as I've said, timeless staples. I scored this one at Urban Outfitters in the sale rack. It's this really great vintage jacket. Urban sells some cool vintage pieces and I love this. So definitely get a moto jacket. You can layer it with a chunky knit. This one is oversized hoodies, like such a great piece. And then from there, I would recommend a trench coat style. I should have showed this to you, but I just categorized this under leather. And I just think this is such a cool statement piece. It layers really well, again, chubby knit sweaters or hoodies, turtlenecks. You can be dressy and casual. I've worn it with sweats before and I just love how it elevated the look and just made me feel a bit more dressy. And I've worn it with dresses for a night out with heels and I just love, love, love this one. And then like another fun statement piece would be vests. It's like a puffer, but it's faux leather. This one's from Abercrombie and it's super oversized. I ordered this in an extra small, so you can even go smaller, like go down a size or two if you can, but it is such a cool piece. It's a statement. It really dresses up your average hoodie. You can rock it with sweats and a hoodie and some black booties, and you can also just rock it with leggings and wear it with trousers. Like I really, really like this. It's surprisingly warm. I just love these bigger puffers, like this one, this like duvet style one. It's like wearing a blanket and I love it. So those are all of my favorite jackets, my must haves, jackets that I think you're gonna love that are truly easy to style, that are timeless, that you can wear year after year, and most importantly, keep me warm and layer well. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any other requests, little collection videos, my must haves, let me know. I would love to do that one. I know somebody asked me to share my sunglass collection. Um, it's beauty related, but even my perfume collection. So let your girl know. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.